Hey, this is like a Coleman or something. I'm just kid guru. Today, I'm just gonna show you my Firefox add-ons and some add-ons I suggest for Firefox and you know some other things. But I will make maybe previous parts of this uh, on if I ever find some add-ons I really want to share with you guys. And anyway, uh, let's get started. I'm just my my add-ons right here. I usually keep 10 to 12 to give a uh, good performance on my. Uh, I don't want too many add-ons to overload my Firefox speed. And my theme is Block X. I don't use many themes. I only get one theme at a time, and I uninstall it. And if I need it, I can get it later. I don't want to have a whole bunch of themes rather than the default in Black and the one I have right now, Black X, of course. It's a great one because I just like the small layout and pretty much pretty clean glossy effect, and you know just small icons. I used to use a quaint black, which is a really popular one, but I, didn't want, I want a little smaller theme just to get better performance out of my Firefox. Today, uh, I'm just going to show you my add-ons, and my first add-on I have here is FasterFox. I used to use Google Web Accelerator, but uh, I had some difficulties with that. A little bu bugs got into it with my, uh, it slowed down, actually slowed down my Firefox, so I chose FasterFox. What it does, it just tweaks your uh, about config, and uh, right here it shows you some other things you can do, presets for it, and enhanced uh, prefetching, which just prefetches pages. Uh, which that does is, it, let's say you're in a site and has a link, and it determines, it kind of guesses on which link are mo you're most likely to click and loads that page beforehand. And when you click it, it's all in ready loaded for you. It's a prefetched. So it enables stuff like that and other about config, pipelining, max per connections per server. And it, and it comes with a load page timer that so it del shows what, uh, uh, how much you've sped up speeded up your internet connection using faster fox next is firefox universal uploader or fire uploader it's a great uploader let me just show you the ui surface here now what it does it you can just put your files in it and just upload it to youtube flickr picasa box.net facebook a lot of stuff you can just log into your account from here and upload it you have a lot of it's re it's faster it's more efficient than actually the YouTube downloader itself. It's just out of date a little bit and has could use some new features like uh, one add. It doesn't give you title or video description, you, so you can just customize that when the video is uploaded. But uh, it gives you tags and all that stuff. But uh, other than that, it's a great uploader and it works fast and efficient because I have some bugs on my Opera and Firefox thing it doesn't upload YouTube videos right. So I just use that and it's great. Okay, next is Foxy Tunes. I might disable, uh, uninstall this one actually, because there's really no point in it for me. Because it doesn't. If you're a heavy user of music, then it's pretty. It works out pretty good because it lets you search music and find out who it's by, and gives you uh, some places you can get the music off. It lets you control your music from your browser, but that doesn't really help me out when I'm using something like iTunes to produce my music and get my uh, library off of. Because I thought it would actually just put the library within the add-on but I guess it's just my settings I'll look more into it but it's just you know really slowing it down when I'm using something like iTunes it just slows down my browsing and uh, there's really no point when I can just switch windows works better that way for me so but if you like if you're a heavy music player and you use something other than iTunes to play your music off of I don't know what you whatever you use maybe you use LimeWire or FrostWire I should use my FrostWire but I don't have many songs on that but Google Preview is my next one. I'm just going to show you that there, and I'll just search up uh, Puget Computer. That's a computer I've been looking at. What this does, it gives you a preview image, as you see here. And this is good for a couple reasons. One, you can see if the, it's spam or not, the site. Two, you can see if it's nothing bad on the site, spam as well. And uh, you can also see if the site's efficient, and if it's on topic, if it's, you know, looks good, looks, uh, you know, worth your time. And you could. I also recommend. Uh, I don't have it right now, but I just uh, uninstalled it. It's Google Wikipedia search. It's what it does is when you Google a search, it gives you the Wikipedia page right here on the side. It looked a little cramped with my Google preview, but it looks pretty cool. And uh, it's really cool if you just want to know the Wikipedia, whatever has it on Wikipedia. Um. Uh, next is stylish. What this does, it has codes you can get off other people's internet, and if you, and these codes enable. It's a whole bunch of a uh, text code. What it is, it's just color. It gives a different color, and as soon as you save it for the site, for example, I have it on my YouTube, and I'm gonna put it on my Google soon as soon as I get the code. But when I go to YouTube, it's black and gray, as you see, and that is because the code that I got is enables those colors. So as you see there. Okay, next add-on is Tab Mix Plus. Now 
Tab Mix Plus and Tiny Menu are pretty self-explanatory, but they're very popular add-ons. And uh, Tab Mix Plus gives you great, great custom ability and great options for, with links, how you want to open them in tabs or windows, enable single window mode, events. I'm not going to go much into this, but just give you an overview. It has a lot of uh, things you can change tab options, how the tab looks and under tabs look. Mouse gestures, if you want to like double click it and like open a new tab, you can do all that stuff. Duplicate the tab, rename the tab, you know, a lot of stuff. Close all the tabs, session manager, uh, enable session manager and crash recovery. So if your computer restarts, you go under Firefox and whatever you were last left on, it's going to save it for you. So it's a great and a really, really uh, awesome Tab Mix Plus with an added boost, as it says. Tiny menu is self explanatory. You can what you do what it is is a uh, it just puts file edit view history bookmarks tools and help and you don't even have to have them all in there you can change it and you can make the display an image if you want so that's really cool so you can either have this as an image or text I'd rather have it as a text but uh, it puts them all into this right here I'd rather have a cleaner look and feel of Firefox and I like it like this rather than have it being pa fanned out through the side left and right and that's all my add-ons. You can find these all on the Google, uh, Firefox add-ons. I will come up with other add-ons that I'll show you and recommend it, recommended add-ons. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment and rate on my videos and also please subscribe. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching.